Hey everybody, it's Jeff, Aromatics. Now some of my future videos are, uh, I'm planning on doing a little bit more uh, cigar related uh, content, uh, things also pertaining to my uh, tobacco grow and uh, my tobacco curing, things like that. But I didn't want to neglect my uh, pipe tobacco uh, content as well. So I figured I would uh, do a pipe tobacco review to stick in here, uh, keep things interesting, keep things, uh, keep the content, uh, yeah, the variety going here. So today the tobacco that I was I felt like smoking and uh, reviewing is Warhorse Green. Now I have reviewed uh, Warhorse Ready Cut and Warhorse Bar, but I have not done this one yet. So I've got it loaded up in my Medico pipe. Uh, I've probably mentioned this pipe before. It's probably one of my cheaper pipes, but it's one of my best best smokers. And I've got this one dedicated to Warhorse Bar because it's um it's probably one of my in my top you know maybe my top five tobaccos I really like to smoke it and since it's got such a unique flavoring I figured I would uh, dedicate it to this pipe so if it ghosts it that's okay so that's what I'm smoking the Warhorse green in now what this tobacco is is it's a re uh, kind of a reimagination of an old tobacco called Warhorse bar and uh, from way back, uh, Russ Willette has reformulated it, and so this is that same t the same tobaccos, but with a little extra and maybe a little bit of a different flavoring than the Warhorse Bar. So the tobaccos that are in it are some Burley, Virginia, and Dark Fired Kentucky, I think, and a very unique topping. Uh, someone said I thought I read somewhere heliotrope. I have no idea what that is. Valerian roots, which I know that people can take that to uh, to help them go to sleep. Although I'm pretty sure this stuff will wake you up. Uh, the smell is very, uh, very unique. Um, not quite as hard to explain as the bar. The bar has that kind of slight licorice topping, but uh, some extra stuff in there as well. This is much more licorice -y than that. Um, almost a, a black licorice. It's kind of a 50-50 of black licorice and a natural licorice flavor. Kind of reminds me of uh, Ouzo, that alcohol. Um, also very sweet, uh, like a real sugary sweet smell. Some people say Play-Doh. Maybe it's been a long time since I've smelled Play-Doh. Comes in a really cool uh, kind of a crumble cake. So yeah, all mashed together. So I've got my pipe loaded up. Let's uh, light it up and see what we're getting. Let's try a match. Too windy. Let's go back to the lighter. Now the first uh, first thing that hits you is that sugary sweet licorice flavor, like uh, same as the Warhorse Bar. Kind of a little bit uh, reminds me of if you've ever had Orlick's Dark Strong Kentucky. It's kind of got a little bit of that thing going on. Also very close to. Um, uh, Gowton Hogarth's Brown Flake Scented. It's got that. Um, I would licorice, and the other the other flavoring I'm kind of getting is sort of like a, if you've ever heard of the, like those Christmas gumdrops that my grandma used to put out in the in the you know little container around Christmas time. I was never a big fan of those, but a lot of things that we don't like in real you know to eat sometimes taste pretty good in the pipe, which this this does. The tobacco is, you don't taste the tobacco like you do with the Warhorse Bar, in my opinion. I don't know if it's just my my palate doesn't really agree with it, but uh, I mostly just take, taste those toppings. Whereas Warhorse Bar, you kind of taste a little bit of that licorice, but it's got it's got some other flavors in there too that uh, that that this doesn't have. I can't quite they're hard to explain. This has just mostly got that kind of licorice, not only licorice, but it's such a strong licorice that that. It, it gives you that kind of sensation of a, of a winter green as well. But the tobacco for me really doesn't, doesn't come through flavor wise. You get a harshness. Um, so I'm kind of mixed on this one. I think it's just my palate because I know a lot of other people prefer this one to the red, but uh, the Warhorse Bar. But for me, I just don't get the tobaccos like I do with Warhorse Bar. You know, that one starts out with the flavorings kind of taking over, but as you smoke it down, you really get into that dark fire Kentucky. And it gets a little bit harsh and strong as you get down 
the bowl with bar but with the green it just all I taste kind of is like a harshness in the back of my throat and the aromatic toppings I, it's really hard to fight through to get those tobacco flavors which I'm sure if some people if it doesn't bother their palate if that harshness if you know maybe I'm just sensitive to it they can probably get those flavors because I can sense that they're there I just can't taste them through that that irritation I'm getting in the back of my back of my nose Yeah, so if I were to compare this, um, it's the same as the Gowith and Hogarth, say brown flake scented, I'm not really a big fan of, because once again, that one, I mostly taste those those gumdrop um, uh, kind of licorice uh, flavors, and I don't taste the tobacco, it's too mild. But the, the Gowith and Hogarth dark flake scented, I really get those those tobaccos, and I get the flavoring. So I would compare that with the, with the Warhorse bar, whereas this one is more like the brown flake. It's just mostly topping, and the tobaccos just, just aren't coming through. I'm not really sure why. But that's my take on it. Uh, what's your take on it? I'd be interested. Leave your comments in the bucket below, and I will leave my review at that. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you on my next video. So till then, Aromatics, signing out.